All right, we've got Michelle here joining us uh, with us right now with our Hollywood highlights, including a lot of awards and yes. a change uh, for movie lovers in L.A. So Pretty much cool. a movie morning. Yes, for movie morning. That's a good way Wednesday, to put it. Starting with <laughs> a No Man Land director, Chloe Zhao, making history. She's the first woman of color nominated for so Best cool. Director by the Directors Guild for a DGA award. Uh, the DGA also nominated... Promising Young Woman's Emerald Fennell. This is the first time the DGA has ever nominated two women for its top prize in the same year. So that is huge. I still haven't it seen this movie. It is huge. And long overdue, but it's, I'm so happy it's happening. <laughs> Absolutely. So the picks give us a good idea of which directors might be up for an Oscar. Ooh. Shocking that it is March and we don't know who's been <laughs> nominated for an Oscar yet, uh, but we're actually going to find out on Monday. Okay. So that'll be pretty exciting. The wait um, is almost over. I know. I'm pretty, I'm, <laughs> I need to know. The nominations also come on the heels of the BAFTA nomination. Nominations, which of course is the British equivalent of the Oscars. Uh, last year the awards got caught up in the BAFTA's uh, So White controversy, if you remember that. So this year the most diverse list ever with Daniel Kaluuya, uh, Dominique Fishbach, Chadwick Boseman, Leslie Odom Jr., several cast members from Minari, and more getting now, the 21 of the 24 acting slots filled by first-time nominees. That's awesome. Huge, and a record-shattering four of the six directing nods going to women. Moving so in the right direction. Well. There, yes, yeah. and a good sign for the movie business just in general. Movie theaters in L.A. could open up again. They have been closed for an entire year due to, pandem due to the pandemic. Um, on Tuesday, the county moved to a less restrictive tier, which would allow theaters to reopen with limited capacity. Uh, that could be just a big move for the entire industry, really, yeah. Because obviously movies start in L.A., so if they're not released in L.A., right. you know, it's a whole big domino Oh, yeah, effect. premieres so and all that. Yeah, we we're excited that to see that. <laughs> and uh, speaking of movies, too, a happy birthday to a man who stars in movies and TV. Uh, John Hamm is turning 50, and Olivia Wilde is 37. A true movie morning, and no one else would want to tell us about it <laughs> other than Michelle. Thank you so Thanks, much. <laughs> all right. Well, the reason a major car company now telling its customers to park outside, a big warning for drivers this morning. We've got your business brief. It's all coming up next.